Welcome to the Daughter Arise channel. My name is Yvonne and this channel is all about bringing you content about childhood sexual abuse. On this channel, I share things to do with my experiences of going through this childhood trauma. I also share news stories and add my thoughts and commentary to them. I also from time to time interview other survivors and their supporters in hopes of raising awareness about this childhood issue. So if this is the type of content that you're looking for, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified of any new uploads. And if you like the content, please hit the thumbs up button. So in this video today, I just wanted to share with you a bit about Oprah Winfrey's childhood sexual abuse. Now, because of the topic, I just want to say that it could be triggering for some of you listening to this. So please be advised because she does share a little bit of detail. Now, I got this article from the Daily Mail online. It was first published in May 2021. I will leave a link to it in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself. So Oprah Winfrey, the famous TV talk time host, has revealed that she was sexually abused and repeatedly raped by her 19 year old cousin at the age of nine. In a series that she did with Prince Harry called The Me You Can't See, she revealed that she'd been raped as a child. And she first did that during her talk show in 1986. She said that she was repeatedly raped by her cousin from the age of nine years old. She broke down in tears whilst recalling the horrific experience of being raped by her adult cousin. And the mogul talked about the lasting trauma caused by sexual assaults that she was subjected to until the age of 14. Now, during this first episode, she discussed her childhood trauma, explaining that she didn't know what sex and rape were when her 19 year old cousin began raping her as a child. But the experience taught her that young girls are never safe. She says, at 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 years old, I was raped by my 19 year old cousin, she said. I didn't know what rape was. I certainly wasn't aware of the word. I had no idea what sex was. I had no idea where babies came from. I didn't even know what was happening to me. And I kept that secret. And it was just something I accepted that a girl ain't safe in a world full of men, she said. Oprah had shared details of her traumatic history of sexual assault before, revealing that she was abused by several relatives, including an uncle up until she was 14, which is when she got pregnant and was sent to live with her father. The baby died two weeks after she gave birth. But her first rapist was her 19-year-old cousin, who abused her for several years. She has never revealed his name. After the first time, she said at one public appearance, he took me to get an ice cream at an ice cream shop. Blood was still running down my leg and he just bought me an ice cream. Speaking in her Apple TV series, she stressed why it was so important to share what had happened to her. The telling of the story, the being able to say out loud, this is what happened to me is crucial, she said. Oprah was subjected to other forms of abuse growing up, including beatings from her grandmother and neglect from her mother. So there's much more to her story in terms of the other kind of abuse that Oprah Winfrey went through, emotional, physical abuse, which she does go into detail about. I may do a review of this episode if I can find it online. You're quite welcome to go and find this episode for yourself. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But there were a couple of things from just the little part of the story that I've shared that I want you to pick up on. So the first thing I want you to pick up on about this story is that girls from the age of 9 to 12 years old seem to be at a really vulnerable risk of being sexually abused. Now my abuse started at the age of 9 and I was abused by my dad for five years from the age of 9 to 13. A couple of girls whose story I've highlighted on this channel, Oshana and Luena, one girl from Brazil and Nigeria, both were abused from the age of 9 to 13 years old and 8 to 13 years old. Unfortunately for those two girls, they died from horrific injuries caused by their sexual abuse. And to go through sexual abuse at such a young age is absolutely life changing. At any age as a child is life changing. But I just remember how I felt as a nine year old going through that for the first time and how it changed my life. Now, Oprah said something here that was really important to pick up on. And she said that at nine, 10, 11 and 12 years old, I was raped by my 19 year old cousin. She said she didn't know what rape was. She wasn't aware of the word. 
had no idea what sex was, had no idea where babies came from. She just didn't know what was happening to her and she kept the secret. To go through and have this happen to you and have this be your introduction to sexual behaviour is absolutely traumatic. But growing up when Oprah grew up in the 60s and 70s, you know, it was just accepted. A lot of um, young black girls and boys that had gone through it just accepted it as a way of life. They didn't have the information or the knowledge to understand what was happening to them. I talked about on the video where I talked about my teacher in the 80s, not having the information to even understand that I was witnessing abuse of my fellow pupils in my class and it was happening to me. So it's something that does happen. I believe the key to this, the key to breaking down the lack of information about what abuse is and isn't, is teaching children at a very young age, in an age appropriate way, what safe touch is, keeping boundaries, what sex is, all these different types of things. Unfortunately, we're not living in an innocent age anymore. If children are not being taught these things from young, you know, it leaves them open to being abused and not having the information to be able to kind of um, take it in and maybe tell somebody about it. And, you know, as I said, in the 80s, this was a common occurrence. And we saw that many years later with things like the independent inquiry into childhood sexual abuse, where thousands and thousands of survivors of childhood sexual abuse whether in different um, boarding schools or homes or churches came forward and their abuse was in the 60s 70s and 80s the only other thing i would say is that when oprah mentioned the fact that she didn't tell anybody who the perpetrator is um, that is doing a great injustice to herself I know it's not easy to tell someone, you know, when you're going through sexual abuse, who that person is. It is not easy. I have to bear in mind the time that Oprah was growing up in. Also, you know, Maya Angelou touched on this as well when she revealed her sexual abuse, how it was kind of treated um, childhood rape, sexual abuse in those times. So, you know, obviously at the time, there probably wasn't anybody that would have supported her to be able to do that. And as she said, she didn't know what was going on. Besides being a great injustice to the victim, you know, keeping silent about the perpetrator, the other reason it gives the perpetrator an opportunity to do it to another child. There is research out there that shows that on average, most perpetrators, paedophiles, have on average between 40 to 60 and even more you know, victims of abuse. But even still, you know, I applaud Oprah for the fact that she has spoken about it and has used her powerful platform because, you know, Oprah was huge during the 80s, 90s, 2000s. You know, she was the talk show queen. And the fact that she used her platform in 1986 to try and talk about this in a time where childhood sexual abuse was not talked about, you know, is something that is, you know, quite brave to do. But as I said, I will leave a link to the story in the description box below. Until the next video, take care.